Hi and welcome once again to Greg's Kitchen, greatest cooking channel on the tubes, bar none, I don't care what anyone else says. Now today I'm going to cook my signature dish. That's right, I've been cooking this meal for absolutely years and I think I may have finally perfected it. And what meal is that? Well, it's Thai green curry. Now you can either make this a vegetarian dish or add some beef or chicken or fish if you like and today I'm going to use beef so let me show you the ingredients now as per usual add as little or as much of anything you want but I'll show you what I'm going to add and by the way I'm going to make this for four people so I've got a little bit extra on the side but I'm going to add one tin of coconut cream some sliced meat some beans handful of beans a capsicum or red pepper that's 50 grams of May Ploy green curry paste, an onion, and some mushrooms. Now I'm going to use a wok today because I got one for my birthday. Yes! Thanks, Mum! So, I'm just going to put a bit of this canola oil in there. That's pretty hot, that. And then I'm going to add the green curry paste. So give that a stir for about 30 seconds. Then I'm going to add coconut cream. Mix that in. So mix that in well. Now once that's all mixed, we're going to add the beef. Whoop! Not that bit though. We don't want that in there. Break that all up. And you want to heat that up until it starts boiling. I might turn the heat down a little bit and just let that simmer for a while. Now while that's simmering, you can cut your veggies up. But, I already have and I'll show you them. So as you can see I cut them into nice sized chunks those mushrooms and the capsicum sort of a Asian-y style and I cut the beans into about thirds and the onion I cut into just whatever you like really. Oh it smells so nice. I'm just gonna add a little bit more cream Now this is one of those meals that you want to cook the day before or early in the afternoon to get the best flavour out of it. Because the longer it sits, the better it tastes. Well, I'm just going to let that simmer and reduce for 10 minutes and I'll come back. Okay, 10 minutes later that's reducing nicely. So what I'm going to do now is leave it for, turn the heat down. I'll give it another 20 minutes and I'll come back and have a check. Okay, well as you can see that is reduced just beautifully. And there's just a little bit of sort of oil floating on the surface in that darker colour there. Which means this thing has got flavour. So now, it's coming towards the end. I'm going to add all the vegetables. And the onions. I'm going to mix that through. Making sure to cover all the vegetables in the sauce. Now I'll just leave that for a few minutes to get the heat back through it. Okay, well that's been about five minutes all up, and to me, that looks unreal. So what I'm going to do is add the rest of the milk that was left over, that I asked you to save beforehand, I hope you did. I'm just going to stir that through, whilst turning off the heat. And I'm going to let that sit. Pretty much that is done. 
Now those veggies are still half raw, uh, so they've got a nice crunch to it. It's a beautiful crunch. So normally I just let that sit there for a couple of hours before dinner, uh, just to let it cure, I suppose. And oh, I love this dish, I really do. I mean, these curries really do taste better the next day. So you could just put it from here into the fridge, then uh, microwave it tomorrow. Oh, it will be even better. I should have cooked this yesterday then. Damn it. Okay, well, it's about uh, a few hours later actually, and we're just about to serve, but just have a look at that. Just zoom in. See how the meat's all nice and dry on the top there? And just check the veggies. They're all like limp, so they're like half cooked, and it's just, oh, yum. I can't wait. Anyway, it's time to serve up. So, what I'm going to do is just reheat this just for a minute. It's very spicy this, so, you know, just warm it up a little bit and just a little bit though, not too much, and it'll be perfect. Okay, well that has been warmed and stirred. That was only about 40 seconds, I reckon. Could have been a minute, but, uh, yeah, beautiful temperature. Cook some rice and it's time to serve. As you can see, there's a lot of food there, and I'm really looking forward to eating it. So I'm going to say goodbye to you now, and I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Yeah, this is Greg's kitchen.